dear viewer today we will discuss about graph using network x network x is a python library right in this one graph we are having the different type of the graph one is directed graph and second one is a undirected graph so today we will discuss about a undirected graph what is a graph graph or simple undirected graph is defined as the g that containing g is equal to v a v is the vertices and e is the edge we may have the different number of the vertices or there are vertices are also known as node v1 v2 v3 up to vn these are the vertices and edge that is used to connect or link between the different type of the vertices let's see graph over here we have one graph that containing the a is one node or what b c d e and f a b c d e and f are the vertices or node and edge between these nodes that is a to b that is one edge b to c another edge c to e in c to f another edge d to e another edge f e to f another edge so no direction is defined over here that's why this one is the directed graph so now as we discussed that we are having the graph that containing the g is a graph that containing the v vertices and e are the edge so let's start our practical implementation in python so for the python we have a jupyter notebook so here we have to we need the python library in which one library for the creation of the graph that is our network x so very first step that we have to import network x import network x as nx so we have to execute this one then when this one is executed next one we may have another library like uh, panda as cd execute this one and another we want to use it like we say that import panda as for import numpy as np so i am executing this one we have these libraries we may have another like uh, other libraries also can be there we can use them as we can use the random and other so many other libraries are there so for the today video we will use these so we have we have having the different vertices are there so what are the different vertices are there a b c d e and f so for vertices i am using here v vertices v equal to and we are having the vertices are here a then we have the vertices b then vertices z e what is d o no d then what is e and then we have the what is f so these are the main words is our here a b c d e and f let's see that we have these words is are there a b c d e and f so after the words is we have to create the edge so just execute this one execute it we have vertices and these are the six different vertices are there now we have to create the edge between these vertices for the edge i will use the e so as are there we said that we are having the different type of the edge are there what are the different edge we say that edge between a and b b and c and c and f then a and b a and d b and c like that one so we have to create these edges mention those edge over here so how we can mention it over here we have to use edge of there between a and b b 
then we have another edge between the B and C. Node B as well as node C. Then we have another edge that is related to the C and F. C. Let's put this one. Sort it. C and F. A B one edge, B C another, C F another. So that is length between these. Similarly, we have other edge that those edges are A D D E and E F. A D D E and E F. So clear those. A D then. We have D E H D and we have the H E A D D E and last one we have E F. We can add these vertices over here. Any other number edge we can add new edge as well as the new vertices. E and another is F. So these will be the edges. So just execute it. Everything is fine. So here we are having the vertices A, B, C, D, E, and F. And edges are here we have the in between the A, B, B, C, C, F, A, B, D, E, and E, F. Now we have to use the graph. That is available in the Network X library for the Network X. We are using the NX. So for the graph, I am using G. That as we said that we are having the graph G. So what we have graph, we are having the graph G containing the vertices G and H C. So what we have to do, I am just using over here the graph so that is from the Network X library. So graph we see that sub G that equal to uh, what we have for that one we are using the NX dot graph so just execute it so we will have the G is due to represent the graph now now we have to add those vertices in edge over here in the graph so we have to add edge from and add vertices from so we are first very first step we have to add the node from so how we can add those node into the graph g so we see that we have g dot g dot add nodes from Add nodes from where we are having the nodes. Nodes are available over here in the V. So use it over here. V. Execute it. So in our graph, all the nodes A, B, C, D, E, and F are added. Now next step, we have to add edge or links in the graph. So how we can add it? So for that one, we see that's a G dot. Add its from where we have the edge, it's are here in the E, so use it over here. And put it now, it's gross, it's completed. Now, if you want to display the node, so what we can do it over here, g dot node. Execute it. It will display the, all the nodes. A, B, C, D, E, 
F, all the nodes are there, so we are not using the sorted order, although we can use them uh, in the sorted order. So, next one we have with a different type of the edge or there, so G dot. Execute it, so it will display all the edges. We have B and A, C and D, C and E, E and F, F and C, B and A, C and B and C. Now, when we are having these are here, if you want to display it over here in the form of the all the nodes and then all the edges, so how we can print it over here. So we say that uh, if you want to use print, for the uh, uh, node, you what you can do with over here, we say that we are having the V. So oh, we can use display it over here, G dot. node and same for the uh, we can use it over here print e and that we say that uh, g dot edge so just include then it will display all the nodes as well as all the edges over here so when it displays the nodes and edges now, if you want to know what is the uh, number of the nodes are there or how many the different type of the edges are there in this one graph, so to identify that one, we can use it over here, the number of nodes. So, how we can display the number of four nodes? So for that is known as a graph order. What is the graph order? Graph order, order of the graph is the number of the vertices. It means number of the nodes, how many number of the nodes are there. And then, what is the size of the graph? Or the whatever how many number of the edges are there, so that we that is known as the size of the graph. First, we have to find the order of the graph. So for the order of the graph, we have number of nodes, number of order of the graph. We say that that is known as number of the nodes. So how we can display the number of nodes? To display the number of nodes, we have graph order. Like uh, print graph order. So graph order is the number of the nodes. So how we can display the number of the nodes over here? We say that g dot number of nodes. It will display it over here the number of nodes or we say simply we say that is a graph order. So it say the graph order is six. If we number of nodes are here, we have the six. Again we include it. Okay. Now if in other ways we are having the size of size of the graph. So Okay, again, we can find the size of the graph, it means the number of edges. Size of the graph, that is the edges. So, how can we can find it over here? Print. Size of graph. And we have the G dot. number of edge in that function if execute it it will display that the size of graph that is also the six it means six edges are there and six nodes are available in this one graph after that one we can may be able to find the degree of the graph and the sensory matrix and so many other things are there so let's uh, find the degree so how we can Find the degree of this one graph. To find the degree of this graph, we say that so uh, display the degree of the graph. Uh, we are having the g dot degree. That functions 
or how you can say degree of drop with respect to each and every node so how we can say that's a trend degree of drop g dot degree and then and we put it it will display that node b is having the two degree two it means from b is connected with the two different nodes similarly e is connected with the two nodes f is connected with the two nodes b is connected with the two nodes c is connected with the two nodes right so in this way we may be able to find the degree of the graph similarly we can we may, we may be able to uh, add the node as well as remove the node how we can add the node let me say that we have uh, we want to add the node so let me say that uh, add nodes are node add what are the different nodes that we want to add it over here uh, we say that we want to add uh, two different nodes like uh, already we have f and we want to add new node that is the g and we want to add node h right okay only we want to add the node that is the g so new node is here g so how we can add the node so we say that uh, as we already did it over here new add the node is over here g dot add node from so we can add the node from this one and see we can use it or if we can use it over here g dot add node and which one node that we want to add it over here let me see that we want to add in this one graph in a new node that is the g node so ignore this one so don't use this one please so we are adding node directly it over here and we are not using the g uh, or even if you want to node f g h any other node that let i am using it over here in other node that is a h directly g dot add node in this one graph i want to add the node that is a h so execute it so node will be added over here right if you want to display what are the different nodes are there previously we have the a b c d e f so now new so here we add the node that is the x if you want to display what are the different uh, nodes in our graph so we say that the g dot node so display it over here we can find it over here if say that h is also over here we can use it over here g dot add node from so we can add from any other uh, files are any from any other list we can add it over here so similarly another as if you want to add it over here so we have to use the g dot add h so which one is that we want to say that previously we have here if we check it out there we have here we have f is there so in between we want to create the new nodes between the h and the f so here we create the new node like this one so we see that see another node that is the we have the h we want to create the link between h and uh, so how we can create the link so we see that the uh, add the link between these two how to create the link between these two 
So for that one, we say that the we are having g dot add h. H we we say that the first one we have a f, and second one we have uh, that is a h. So we have the two different nodes are there. One is the f and h. We want to create the edge between these two nodes. Just execute it, and edge is created. So if we want to display it over here, g dot edge, so it will display another edge. Execute it. Okay. Now here we add it over here. You can see it over here. Uh, the edge between the f and h. So f. And C F. No, it change the degree. It may be. It may also change the degree of that one. Like it, if you want to check it over here, so the degree like previously we did over here. So again, we have previously the degree of F was uh, that was two of every node. Now let's see the what is the degree of the. Or add add another edge. That is, we want we want to create another edge between the F and A. Okay, so we have to use the G dot add edge, and we are having the node is here A. And second one we say that uh, node is here F. We are creating the edge between these two. So what will be happen? This another link we are creating the variable between the a. And so we will have the new link between a and f. So what? Let's see what will happen. Let's execute it. So new edge we add it over here. A and f. Uh, if you want to create the new edge, then you can add it over here. In the number of times you can add it over here. Now, you, if you want to check then what is the degree, so we can check the degree over here. Already we did it over here. I am just taking the copy of this one. Print degree of the graph g dot degree to so execute it over here. It will display the degree of the different like. But here you can see now the degree of a is three. Because A is connected with the uh, different C nodes. What are those nodes are here? A is connected with the B. A is connected with the D two, and A is connected with the F. So A is connected with the three different nodes. This remember that one. This is for the, the undirected graph. This one is not a directed graph. So for directed graph, we are having in degree and out degree. We will discuss the concept of in degree and out degree later on. So currently, we see that the degree of A is three. Similarly, the degree of uh, if you see that s, we get is also a three, and degree of h we have one. If we get the degree of h, that is also uh, h that is uh, corrected with plus one. So no, uh, so that's it. So here we see that degree of the a is three, degree of the if you check it over there, f is three. H is outside of that one, so that's why it is not displaying the degree. I don't know why it should display it over here the one. Yeah, I will recheck it. To what? Why this one? And then explain it in the next video. That why it is displaying the degree of x is zero. Okay. Now, next here we have the degree of uh, different nodes. We already did it over here. If we want to remove any node, so how we can remove? In actually, like we said, we want to remove the uh, like uh, we want to remove the node h. So how we can remove the node? So we say that uh, node remove. And number of nodes that we can remove it over here. That is, we want to remove only one node. Uh, that we say that is we want to remove it over here. Right? Yes, this initial this one, and then we have to remove the node from the graph. So G dot remove node from. You just remove node from, and then mention over here. Which one node that you want to remove over here? You should just uh, rem node remove. 
for you this one. Now graph, this one node is removed. If now we check every g dot node, so we will not find this one node as well as that one as between the f and x. That is also that will be also hide. Data node, so we will not have h. Now, if we want to check every here the g dot h, so we will not find the link between the f and h. Oh, the, why that was not displaying over here? That uh, it said that uh, we don't have add edge, so that's why that was not displaying the, the degree over here. That was displaying it over here zero. So we can we can use it over here like uh, add edge. So what we can use it over here? We say that um, uh, add edge. Is equal to we we are using it over here like we want to add one edge so that we want to add that is the f and h i am using it over here now f and h and now what will be happened it over here and then add h from the reason is that when I was using the capital E, that's why edge from this one add edge. What is it? What we were doing previously? I just moved it over here. Add edge. We are using. I'm just removing all the this. So, Execute this one. Okay, add edge one record. Uh, no, I already removed the nodes. Actually, that's why it's this edge is not available. So, add node G, add node H, and then we are using the variable. Now, H is there. Now, we have to add it. O. See, there's a V of uh, X equal one position argument. Okay. So, uh, let's remove. Okay. Now we have the F in X. Uh, now execute is check if we are having the X out there. Just execute it. We are having the Different type of the edge are available uh, similarly if you want to check the very hard to add edge. So let's check. We already added it over here. Now we have to check the degree. So it will display it over here the degree we have. Uh, the degree of this one is edge is also one. Previously that was displaying the zero. Why? Because edge was not created. That's why. Now we have to uh, remove the node edge. So just remove it. We remove the edge. Then we see that so uh, remove the node from uh, node remove. So if you want to remove any node, so we can remove any node. So node is removed. Uh, it will display the list of the nodes. So now similarly g dot edge. So if you want to display the edge, list of the edge, so it will display it over here the list of the edge over here. Now. This one is here we display it over here the uh, degree of the nodes as well as the list of the nodes. Uh, similarly, we are having the other curves are there. Now, another last steps are here we want to use it over here in which we want to display the graph, complete graph that what we have in the our graph. So, in that one, we can just display it over here that uh, nx dot uh, draw graph. So, to how to display the nx dot draw graph. We can use it over here. Yes, uh, okay. So we are having the uh, that is in X. 
dot draw. So in x dot draw, we will use it over here. We are having the graph is uh, G. That is a simple graph is here. So and then we can use it over here. So, different other attribute uh, like a node size we can use the uh, edge size then we can use the font colors and other uh, font size uh, similarly the node colors edge colors and other we can use it over here at uh, uh, we can currently i'm using just click over here so the node size equal to i'm using over here 1000 then we see that uh, font size we see that font size is here just I'm using the 16 uh, similarly we can use it over here the uh, font color or edge colors as you can note colors any one we can use it over here so uh, I'm not using both so just executing this one then later on we will see that what are the other property can be just executed so let's see just, uh, what will be the result of that one. So it displayed over here one graph over here. This one uh, it displays the graph, which is about, but it's, it is not displaying it over here the different type of the uh, uh, what we label over here. So we can use it over here display the label for this one. How we can display the label that what, what, what are the labels for these graph we can use also that's uh, what are the different uh, label like a b c what are the x name so we can also mention it over here in their position we can also do it over here okay uh, here we create the graph now we can uh, add the different type of the other attributes over here uh, like we want to uh, we say that we want to with label uh, we want to use it over here so use it over here with Label equal to use over here too. Uh, similarly, we want to use it over here the font size. Okay, we already use it over here the font size. Uh, we can use it over here the notes. We already use it over the note size, font size. Uh, similarly, we can use it over here the note color as well as edge color. Node color, we say that is uh, node color we, that should be white, and we say that edge color, we say that is uh, that should be green. So let's take we put this one. So let's see. Now it is split over here to draw like uh, we are having the a b c d e and f different nodes are available and uh, those all of those nodes are connected the color of this one is uh, node color is we have the red and edge color that is the green and now these are already labeled over here so to label it over here we use it over here the view label now in next video we will discuss how to set the position of these like and properly what we have here uh, what are the different position are there uh, how we can add those position over here and how we can display it over here similarly we dis uh, display it over the concept of uh, uh, other concepts uh, by type graph and other things we will discuss in the next video thanks for watching the video